Young Jamaican filmmaker J.P. Williams has shot and released his second film, Uhuru, A Christmas Story, as a follow-up to last year's The 1938 Onrest. This latest project saw Williams and his crew travel to Africa's Tanzania, where this story is set. J.P.'s here alongside his beautiful main character from his film, Laura Sheila Inangoma. Hi, guys. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Hi, morning, morning, Delia. How are you? I'm awesome. Laura, how are you? I'm good, thank you. All right, JP. All right, so talk to me about this journey. How did we travel from here to West Africa? So, so I went to Tanzania, which is in East Africa. Oh, it's East. All East right. Africa. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the journey started in 2020 when I decided to do a Christmas film. And, you know, I just felt a tug towards Africa. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where in Africa, I didn't know what story I would tell in Africa, but it's always been a dream of mine to, to go and to um, do a movie there. Yeah, I, so I, I, I think, yeah, I think from our end, we made the error of saying West because traditionally um, we, we connect with the West African right. nations. Yeah. 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 So mm. tell me, how did you how did you end up in Tanzania? I ended up in Tanzania after doing some research um, about the different tribes in Africa, and I found a tribe called the Chaga people. Wow. Who are located on the slopes of the Kilimanjaro. Yes. Which is in Tanzania. Yes. 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 And you know they celebrate Christmas. Mm. They're Christians, and so it was perfect to intertwine with my Christmas story. Yes. Laura, tell me now, as an actress, first of all, what were, what were your thoughts? Who is this Jamaican filmmaker coming all the way to Tanzania and now wanting me to do a project? Wow, what's this? <laughs> Talk to me about I, that journey. Well, as an artist, I just fell in love with the, the braveness and, uh, you know, the authenticity of the script. The story was so touching and the way that we met, I met a... Uh, um, an old man from New York and it was his first time in Africa. I was uh, in a restaurant and he told me, hey, you, you should cast in this movie that we, we, we know that they are casting. And I, I was just uh, very interested and uh, intrigued. Yeah, yeah. So JP, tell me a little bit about it because Christmas stories, um, I think are <laughs> a Christmas story film is, I think, one of the most common things. Uh, yeah. That, yeah, so tell me what's unique about your Christmas story. So what's unique is the perspective we took. You know, we tried to tell a story um, from the perspective of an East African male mm -hmm. who is suffering from depression after the death of his wife. And, you know, in telling the story from that perspective, we touch on topics such as gender roles, and what's expected from the male. Okay. You know, in East African culture, males are expected to be very strong and not show any emotion. So to see this character um, sad and depressed, and in some instances, not being able to fulfill his roles as a male yeah. was very interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one of the things you said is when you went to the tribe, they, they, they cooked a whole goat. And you, <laughs> yes. and you drank banana beer? Yes, the banana beer is called Mbege. Yes. And the boat is Ndafu. Yes. And that's a part of their traditional celebration. So that was very sacred. Yeah. And it was a great pleasure to be a part of that. Yeah. Um, Laura, talk to me a little bit about uh, film in Tanzania. Because one of the things JP realized pretty early when he went there is that there's an active film industry and um and professionals there that are capable of executing film at a global level so tell me a little bit about that well uh the the funny story is that i can't uh talk a lot about that because this was my first movie i'm a theater uh actress wow. Wow. Vivian, and I'm from burundi i'm here as an expat so i i was uh just you know drowning in that uh, beautiful feeling of creating something but the, the experts of that were, were carola who played uh, the grandmother and uh, mcdonald who, who is a 
participating in many awards of filming here in Tanzania. So Tanzania is like the heart of film uh, creations in this East Africa. Burundi is a little bit back and, and Rwanda and uh, mm -hmm. you, ha you have Congo, Uganda. Tanzania is one of the most creative. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. How is that for you though, as a creative? Um, you do theater in Burundi and, and then moving over to Tanzania. Able to continue to do your craft there? Yes, um, we've such beautiful encounter encounters uh, like uh, J Justin JP and the Studio Eight and people who are ready to make those brave and uh, very you know root 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 directed uh, stories. Mm -hmm. That's that's really what what touches the hearts here, and we can so easily relate. We had a cultural connection that it was just marvelous to to meet to meet yeah. uh, the artistic ways of doing between Jamaica and Tanzania and Burundi. Absolutely. Um, JP, will we see any Jamaican connections or any traces of Jamaica in this film or are solely rooted in Tanzania and its culture? We're solely rooted in East Africa. We took a deep dive into the, into the culture. And I must tell you, us in Jamaica are a lot like the people in Tanzania. And that Absolutely. was a blessing to go there and be welcomed by the Tanzanians. It felt like I was at home. Mm -hmm. Listen, everywhere in Africa fe feels like home. That's what yes. I keep hearing from people. Yes. But 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 I asked Laura, let me they shoot it back to you. Um, I didn't even know Jamaica had a consulate in Tanzania, but apparently we have a very active one. And, yes. um, <laughs> and, and, and they have an active film industry. So walk me through that experience because I feel like you went there thinking, all right, I'm going to forgot to do everything. Uh, <laughs> but that, they were ahead. <laughs> yeah, you know, sorry, when we went there, we met with the film board and the film board was very helpful in connecting us to professionals um, in audio, in lighting, in actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. So to see that kind of an industry set up and infrastructure being placed was a breath of fresh air. And it definitely, um, assisted in us being successful with the film. Yeah, man, Africa is way ahead in film. Um, when do we see it? Where do we see it? What are the so, plans? Yeah, it's out on YouTube. I encourage everybody to watch it with their family. Um, you type in the Studio 8 Uhuru, a Christmas special, and it will pop up. We just got to 40,000 views, and our goal is 100,000. So I know the Smile Jamaica, crew can do it the family <laughs> i trust you guys <laughs> listen man by the time we're done it's up to a hundred thousand you know you know you know, know you guys are powerful you know smile jamaica family how, how we are and we support we support yeah. all things culture um laura where, where what's next for you in terms of film this is a new new venture for you but but what are your your aspirations in terms of film I am just uh, seeing what's proposed out there, casts and stories worth to be told, like JP. Yeah. <laughs> JP's and yes, I'm, I'm just very, I'm being active on, on, on castings and, and some appointments, so. Yeah. JP, what's next for you? I'm, I'm, listen, I'm an advocate for Jamaican, African film connections, have been for years. So, so JP, what's next? for you? Well, of course, down the line, I see myself going back to Africa and telling more stories. Mm -hmm. In the short term, I have my eyes set on Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I have two stories that I want to um, execute this year. Nice. As well as a short film I started in 2020 called Jamaica Nice Man, mm -hmm. which I hope to complete and publish towards the end of this year. Listen, I feel Jamaica has such powerful stories to yeah. tell and we've been telling it in our music we've been telling it in our sport and film is just the frontier that we need to conquer we've been doing right. great but we can do some more <laughs> great agree. talking to you both i look forward to watching it um i definitely will on the weekend all the best to you thank you thanks for having us thank you. filmmaker jp williams and actress laura sheila in goma